When French winemaker Laurent Ponceau learned last April that 107 bottles of his best vintage were up for auction in the United States, he was puzzled. In that auction, there was some Clos Denis 1945, and we've only been making Clos Denis since 1982. There was no chance that wine existed. Ponceau is one of a growing band of wine producers turning to a special kind of tag to crack down on forgery. Genuine bottles leave his vineyard with a 3D tag which contains a unique pattern of bubbles and an identification number. Buyers can check they've got the real thing online by entering the ID number and checking the tag against a photo of the bubble pattern. The proof tax system is already being used by Swiss watchmakers, the cosmetics industry and some governments. Proof tags marketing director Frank Burieri fears the winemakers' woes will worsen years down the line if they do nothing. What is dramatic for winemakers is that if they don't take action right now, there might be counterfeit of the wine that they are producing today, but in 10 years or 20 years from now. Clive Coates was a master of wine and has now retired to the Burgundy region. He believes big rises in the prices paid for ultra-premium wines has fueled a rise in the counterfeit trade. But I think what it boils down to at the end of the day is what I would call caveat emptor. Let the buyer beware. This is a, a, i.e. it's a silly person who pays silly prices without having done their homework. Millionaires who probably can't tell the difference between Petrus or Romani Conti. So far, nearly 30 Chateau have bought into the bubble tag technology in the hope they can put a cork in the counterfeit wine trade quickly. Paul Chapman, Reuters.